Well, welcome everybody to Our Lady of Mount Carmel's Rectory. We're up here in the pastor's quarters. And Father Steve and I this week decide we're going to do another cooking lesson. I haven't done one since Christmas. And Lent's coming up in seven days. So we thought, well, well how can we do Lenten food that actually tastes good? Because Lent's a time of prayer, fasting, penance, and almsgiving. And it... And it, 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 it should be that sacrificial season, but there's no reason why sacrificial food shouldn't taste good. So that's what we're going to do this Sunday, 6 p.m., um, here at the rectory. And I'm going to make four things. First thing I'm going to do is a pasta, a shell pasta uh, from my Philips uh, pasta machine. And the sauce is going to be escarole and cannellini beans and tuna, some black olives, olive oil, a little hot pepper. Uh, not only will it become a Lenten dish for you, but I think it will be a staple dish for you throughout uh, the year. And I poured myself a drink, so I think I'm going to have a little sip as we're, we're talking. And then the second thing I'm going to do for you is uh, one of my favorites, sole florentine. It's uh, sole stuffed with spinach and a regatta mixture with Parmesan. Now I know for Italians, some of you Italians out there is thinking, cheese and fish, no, but this is really good. Little breadcrumbs on top, you bake it. It's a great Lenten Friday dish when there can be no meat. But again, I think it'll become a staple in your diet for um, the rest of the year. Third thing I'm gonna do is actually I made tonight. This is like a little appetizer and actually with a salad, it could be a full course. And it's a salmon puff pastry. It's made with a dill pesto with lime juice, a little piece of salmon, olive oil, cheese, garlic. Uh, it's really nice. It's, so it's a nice appetizer, or just as four, three or four together with a salad and a nice glass of Orvieto. That could be a dinner. And then finally, I'm gonna make a drink that not only could be a Lenten drink, because it's light, but it also could be a light Lenten dessert or a little intermezzo course. And I'll keep that one as a surprise because it's one of Father Steve's favorite and he knows what it is. So anyways, this Friday, this Sunday, February 14th, I know it's Valentine's Day, but who would you rather be than with Father Steve and me on Valentine's Day? So 6 p.m., order takeout, Come home with your 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 uh, your husband or wife or your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Watch us or order pizza out online. Watch our cooking lessons. It'll be a wonderful way to spend Valentine's Day and to get ready for for Lent, one week away, so that your Lenten food will taste good as well. So join us this Sunday, 6 p.m. Cheers and have a happy Lent.